Welcome back my friends, I'm Black and Rose here, and yes, we're back here with Cultist Simulator, The Guide. This time I'm going to explain a little bit more about Manzus, or the, the Dream Realm. Now I'm going to have to be very careful here, because this is following on exactly from the last video, and it just occurred to me that I left myself in a very bad place. Because I don't have a lot of money, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of housekeeping as I go. I really should be doing this off video, but there are other things I can do now. Okay, so, Manzus, or Manus, or whatever it is. Basically, it's the dream realm in this game, and it serves a sort of a, a side element to this. It is necessary to progress a certain amount through the dream realm to actually win the game. And there's a very significant reason for that. It's to help in the final ritual to provide the elements necessary in necessary strength. Now, you may have seen me using it before in Way of the Wood. Now, you acquire Way of the Wood by dreaming with passion in the Moonlit Road, and you add either Knock, I believe, and or Moth, or Lantern. Anyone will do, it only has to be a strength level 2. And you should be getting that at the very start of the game. How's this expedition going? Okay, this particular expedition challenge was Watchers, and I can actually deal with that quite easily. Let me just add someone to this. Eh, uh, we'll add that. Okay, right. So we have a bunch of things going on, but let's just uh, try and keep a lid on all this. The Great Seduction. <laughs> Okay, so what that has done is I'll get the lantern back, and I get buzzing in the brain, this thing, and I get the way of the wood. Now obviously I already had that, but it just replaces it. To progress further into the dream, you have to put way of the wood in, and you need to put either knock of level strength 4, or lantern level strength 4, and I can't remember what the other one is. There, there is another one. Um, is it Winter? Okay, so it's Lantern, Winter, or Knock of level strength of 4 to reach the next stage. Best way to find out is if you put if you put the correct element in there, or the correct law in there, but it's not strong enough, it will tell you that it's not enough. And we'll just let that time down. There's no no worries there. The expedition is coming to a close. Good thing is this will time out before that expedition does. So that's all well and good. No notoriety issues there. And that gives us the lantern, the way of the wood, and the way of the white door. Now, when you go into the Way of the Wood, you have to apply Passion to it to actually enter the dream, and then you can do the thing that I was doing with selecting a card that you get. With the Way of the White Door, you need to put Health in to get the same thing. Now, to proceed further, you need to put the Way of the White Door and your Temptation in to reach the, to reach the Stag Door. And he said reach the stag door again, because I've already done this. Um, I've already made preparations to be able to proceed through to the next stage. So, we've run out of money. Uh, oh, it also occurs to me that I have a commission here that is ready to be finished. Okay, and how did this expedition end, besides successfully? Gain notoriety, the Royal Prophet is back, the Hint is back, and we gained a book, we gained another book, we gained an Iron Spinter, and we gained another book. Books are useful. Whoops, a daisy, what happened there? Translate from Greek. So, let's translate from Greek and do that. Okay, we are on our way. 
and gained a silver splinter. That is very useful to me because my economy is dying. Should I do this? Yes, I will. I, I need the money more at the moment. I can always get more of those. Okay. And obviously it didn't produce anything because I already have the card. But what this produces is this card that we see down here, which is the Stag Doors Riddle. Now, there's something very unique about this card in that it's randomised how to uh, proceed through this. But basically, what you need is you need a, a specific law with a strength of 6 to get through it. Now, if I was to say to start that and put the lantern on there, it'll say this is not the answer. That's how you know that it's not that aspect. I happen to know though, based on the riddle that it gave me, that the answer is the serpent's answer. Uh, it could be any of the aspects, including occult histories. Um, the Wikipedia page, or the Wikipedia, the wiki itself indicates which aspect you're going to need based on the riddle. To know what the riddle is, just click the card and it will tell you what the riddle is. Uh, this is one of the most important parts of the mouse progress that you need to do. And it's the one that I tend to aim for uh, the most when, progress uh, when progressing forwards. And we gained a bunch of funds there, which is very, very useful. What, what does Iron Splinter do? Hmm. Not a lot of use to me, but let's uh, sell that as well. Okay, and this will now progress us to the next stage of Manus. And we trans translated that book, so let's read it and gain some more lore. Right. Just, keep, uh, just let things tick over for now. And what have we found? Ooh, that's, that's relatively useful. Okay, now let's see. What what are you? Do you have? Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and, as part of a bonus in this video, we're gonna try and get rid of this hunter. And the way we do that is, well, we can arrange a meeting with them. But what we can do is we can put some uh, something into here and try to get them killed. Now, what I've done, I've used hint because it has a uh, a level 8 in edge, which means it has a strong chance of killing it. Now since this particular hunter doesn't have any resistances to being killed or dealing with summoned monsters, this should have a relatively strong possibility of succeeding. If it fails, it can cause us all kinds of problems. This is but one of many ways to deal with a hunter. You can actually talk to them about winter lore or lantern lore and it can cause them to go insane. I'll explain that a little bit more uh, later on. Um, and we gained... Oh, look! We gained this. And we also gained this, which is uh, the way through the stag door. We no longer have to complete that riddle. All we have to do is dream on the stag door and apply reason to it. And that will move us through... And that will allow us to proceed through that door each time. And... Oh, I gained two laws from that. That's quite handy. Now there's a bonus to the stag door, is that the stag door has a lot of bonuses in there. There's a lot of things you can get out of it, mostly influences, but the influences are mostly level 6 in influence, which is very useful for doing summons. Now, I can't actually indicate how to proceed further from this because in order for me to proceed further I need a law I need something in level 8 law oh look at that I always thought that that killed them how's that for an interesting turn I didn't kill them I've captured them well how about that I've never ever captured a hunter before However, that something a little bit weird is going on now because I've now the the suspicion has started again. So I'm going to get another hunter 
but I have a captive and a captive is useful to me oh no no hunter <laughs> yeah I, ca I can't recruit them but you can use a captive for summons and rituals oh look a subtle rupture Yes, in order for me to pro progress further in Manus, uh, I need to have... I'm trying to remember. L let me, um... Let me just try a couple of things. Let's see, so... Okay, so I can use Knock. Can't use Forge. Can't use Edge. Can't use that. I know you can use Grail. Um, what about Heart? Ah! Things are moving all over the place. Oh, and you can use Lantern as well. Okay, so... What I would need to progress further is I would need to have the next level in Grail, Knock, or Lantern. I don't have any of those at the moment, but I could possibly produce one of them. I would have to sacrifice something else, which... I actually can. Uh, I actually have something here that I can sacrifice. Um, we've just translated that, but what can I make with that? That turns into winter. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subvert that because what that will do is it will give me access to the next level. is all very handy for me and at some point I'll need to decide what to do with this prisoner that I have the hint, hint's gonna time down but that's okay I'm gonna waste summon another one I have the lore necessary for completing the summon Ooh. that's a nice little influence there And I can make use of that in a in a ritual, a summoning ritual. Um. Oh, <laughs> no, I can't because uh, I've got all that tied up at the moment. Right, I don't want to summon something of the Grail. I believe it's winter that I need to add. Yes, it is. Creature of Smoky Deception. That works for me. Scratch my ear. Okay. And you know what? Let's uh let's get some more expedition locations sorted out. Now what I'm hoping for is if I can progress this a little bit further. A handy hint is to try and get a level ten in law for the forge the grail and the lantern and I gained this little this little nifty number now what can I do with this little person actually let's hold on to them for now because if think if I can get things to work out I might actually have a use for them the trouble is is that when you capture someone once that times down completely they become a corpse and then you have a corpse to deal with because if a corpse times down it turns into notoriety and obviously that becomes a problem <coughs> excuse me but it, this is not without trouble okay good right so let us dream on the stag door and apply a knock to it this new one we've got to approach the spider door now this is why it becomes very, very useful for me to have uh, this captive. Because that becomes a uh, requirement for progressing forwards from this point. Okay, so we're, we're moving along quite nicely. Everything's, everything's ticking over quite nicely. And we've gained some expedition locations. Let's uh, study this. That's good, good. We're, we're doing well. Everything's 
moving nicely. I keep saying that now. It's uh, starting to bug me. Okay. So we take this knock back. And we take this back. And we have found the spider door, which is the next stage. Now, progressing through the spider door becomes a bit tricky. Now, there's one, uh, as always, right, okay, yes, so, to progress to the next door, we need to use either Knock, I think it's Lantern as well, uh, Grail doesn't do it, Heart doesn't do it, but Edge does it, okay. So, it's, once again, it's Knock, Lantern, or Edge, but it must be of a level of 10 at that point, a level 10 of one of those which reaches the final door, which is the Peacock door. But, to actually progress through the Spider's door, to actually go through it, we need a captive. We need someone, and it has to be a live captive. Basically, we sacrifice someone so that we can enter the Spider door. Now, it takes quite a bit of effort to actually maintain a string of captives, but it's not impossible. You can use your cultists to do that. In fact, you have to use your cultists to do that. Um, but there is an alternative. What you can do is this card here, the temporary headquarters, if you put that into the talk slot and then put one of your cultist members in there or a hireling, and bear in mind you can use hirelings, so you can just go to the town, hire someone and then betray them, you can then get a captive. Alternatively, you can do what I did, which is capture a hunter, or you can send someone with the grail aspect as soon as I find them. I do have a Grail person around here. So, blimey, I've got three people with heart. Uh, come on. Yeah, so someone with a Grail aspect or someone with an Edge aspect, they will capture someone. It will generate notoriety, but they will capture someone. And then you can use them to enter the spider door. Capturing... Uh, people does become important for completing the game on the uh, Enlightenment ending or the Sensation ending because you will need those to progress further. But I'll explain that uh, later. Well, I won't, I'll say I'll explain that later. I'll explain that in another video. And that I can just read now. But we, I won't actually show me entering the peacock door because I don't have the means to do that. But we are now at the spider door. And once again we have two choices. Ooh. That was an it that was a, a tool. I didn't know you could get tools from this. That's interesting. But anyway, I gained that, which was quite useful. Now unfortunately I can't enter the spider door again until I have another captive. It will use up the captive. But yes, to, to actually reach the final door, the peacock door, you need a level 10 in either knock, edge, or lantern. But to actually get through the peacock door, you need one of three items. I think it's three, it might even be two. And you'll have to go on expeditions to get them. One item is like an hourglass thing that has a lantern power of 10, and it cracks each time you use it, so you have to repair it each time. There's a very specific item that's like a tablet and it has a strength of 12 knock and that can be reused every time to enter the peacock door. In order to complete the game you will need to have reached, I think for sensation or forge, you will need to have at least reached the spider door and to complete the enlightenment ending, I think, you will need to have reached the peacock door because the influences that they have in there are the top level influences. The Spider Door has two influences in there, I think one for Forge and one for um, Grail, that is a strength of 15 or 16. And the Peacock Door has the Lantern one, or the remaining one, at a strength of 16, uh, 16, which becomes essential for completing the game. I will have to do a lot of preparation and a lot of gathering before I can reach a point where I can show you how to end the game. So, I'm basically going to leave it at that. What I would advise is if, if there's specific things that people want me to show them, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, dealing with hunters, 
I can do uh, as soon as I get another hunter because I've just killed off one. Anything else that needs explaining, please let me know in the comment section below. But for the time being, that's the end of this guide. As soon as I've got the preparation set for finishing the game, I will do another video on that. But until that time, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Black and Rose. This is me explaining the dream world of Manus or Manzus. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, my friends. Bye bye.